Hey guys, Luke Wilson here with Skywalker Roofing. Uh, we're out here with the Steel Open for Business. Uh, we're with Amy, with Debbie's. Uh, man, when you think of Debbie's, this is uh, this is my hometown, Stoneville, North Carolina. And um, man, this is what it's about right here. Uh, when you talk about a, a family-owned business, it's making it happen. And uh, you know, we're out here because it's impacting everybody, but the restaurants the most. Um, and we're going to talk to Amy a little bit about what few of the things they're doing to to, to help people at home and, and change the way they do business and uh, help you guys, you know, be able to, to to get what you need still and then be safe. So, Amy, what you thinking? So, unfortunately, today on our 40th anniversary will be the last day we unlock the doors where 40, you can go in. 40th anniversary. Okay, 40th hang on. I'm going to interrupt you just for a second. Did you hear that? 40 years in business. That is impressive. Yeah. That is so very cool. Very impressive. Daddy and Papa started it 40 years ago today. So here we are, but we're locking the door to protect our employees and to protect the citizens here in Stoneville. Um, but we're going to continue to serve you. And so let me show you where we're doing that at. Luke. Okay. Well, let's walk let's over and check there. it out. Okay. All right, so we're out here with Amy and her dad, Dennis, who helped make this thing happen. And uh, we're going to go through the process of uh, First, I'd like to ask them, you know, we were talking earlier, Amy, about 40 years. Uh, Today want... is 40 years we have been in business. Uh, pretty, uh, March the 30th, 1980s, when we first opened the restaurant. And uh, here we are 40 years later, wondering if we're gonna survive again. <laughs> um, uh, but we've, we've adapted to the situation. Uh, we didn't have a drive-through with our restaurant. You know, we, you know, we're a corporate caters, what we are with the restaurant. And uh, we've got 14 trucks and vans that haven't moved in two weeks. Uh, last two weeks ago, we started this drive-through. It's it's a low-cost meal. It's five dollars a meat and two vegetables, ro uh, 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 bread, and uh, we have three menu selections each night. It's starting from four to six thirty. Uh, we felt like this was, was you know we were going to lose money anyway. We figured we would just do it and help the community and keep our supply chain intact. Uh, keep our people intact and um, try to keep the ball rolling. So uh, we, we ad adapted to it. We came up with some really good meals. We had contracts to purchase food and uh, all that's been canceled. So we got the food rolling. We're just trying to do something good for the community. We've been through a disaster before in 1998 with the tornado. We know how it is. We know how it feels. Even though there's a lot of um, different situations here uncertainty but we feel like it's therapeutic to work so we're gonna keep working <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean you guys heard it i mean they're losing money um making this food for everybody just to help out but and keep their people busy and uh, that's what it seems like everybody's doing right now is just trying to right. just keep employees busy and, and making sure we're helping the community well we've out. had a lot of random acts of kindness and people coming through and paying it forward for the people behind them uh, law enforcement people give us money so law enforcement can get their meals and first responders uh, we you know people that can't afford it we, we, we you can tell when somebody's having a tight uh, but you know it's it's worked out well people have supported us out here and uh, we're enjoying seeing the people we don't have a lot of contact with them this is the safest way you can get your meal Absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's go through that real quick okay. about the process uh, we're out here outside of uh, Debbie's on the What's what's in would this be? To this is this is the loading dock. The loading for, dock. Okay. Yeah, for our business, and uh, they just uh, come up 220 business past the Dollar General and turn in to see. Uh, we have the, the the town of Stoneville loaned us some cones to put out here, and um, they just line up. You know, and we'll have five or six cars at a time lined up here, uh, and it takes don't even take if they seconds. have their money ready. It don't take five seconds to just hand them their plate um, we take cards out here and we uh, take cash and uh, they make the plates up back here in a, a, a prep area that we have in the in the stock room here uh, and uh, the, uh, we have hand washing and everything out here and uh, it just it just flows real quick nice hi this is really good it, this is a good way to keep things moving and uh i i couldn't help but notice this a while ago because i'm a, a tenderloin biscuit oh, yeah. uh fanatic i love it and she brought this out a while ago and i just went crazy when i saw it <laughs> so starting uh, tomorrow the restaurant will not be unlocked for breakfast but when you come get your dinner tonight you can grab this for five dollars so that you can still have debbie's biscuit in the morning 
Um, so this is the best way we knew that we could do that in a safe manner for okay, you. Okay, real quick. If you guys have never been to Stonewall, I'm sure there's people watching this video that's from all over the place. If you've never been to Debbie's and dipped a piece of tenderloin and gravy and then put it on one of these biscuits, then you've never lived life, period. <laughs> um, but you should do it. Um, great family business here, uh, local, having hard times. Please come by and support these guys. Uh, I know they'll appreciate it.